Hi everyone, welcome to another art product review. Today I'm going to review the D'Artramentis Document Ink. This ink comes in different colors. The one that I have is brown in color. And the reason why I bought the brown color is because someone on my YouTube channel, after watching my review for the Daniel Smith Walnut Ink, asked me whether or not there is another ink that is also brown in color, but it's waterproof when it's dry. Now the Walnut Ink, this is not waterproof, but this, this is actually waterproof. And this is ink that is handmade in Germany and it's made specifically for fountain pens so it should be safe for use in fountain pens. It comes in a glass bottle like this. This is a nice bottle. The capacity is 35 ml. There is not much information written on the label except that this is brown in color. There's no mention or not whether this is waterproof or whether it's pigmented or water-based. So later on, I'll be testing out all the different characteristics of this ink. So it's a rather nice bottle. Let me open this up. The opening is a bit small, so if you are using a dip pen or a brush, be careful. In this review, I will be comparing the Atramentis Document Ink with Daniel Smith's Walnut Ink. I have already filled this fountain pen with the ink, and later on, I'll also be using a dip pen with this ink. As for the walnut ink, I'll be using my Duke Confucius fountain pen as a dip pen to get the ink from the bottle. And here are some alcohol markers. These are Copic markers. So after using the ink, after it's dry, I'm going to test whether or not the ink is resistant to markers as well as water. Let me start by using the dip pen. It looks like this ink is darker compared to the walnut ink made by Daniel Smith. I'm using cartridge paper. The paper quality is quite alright. So for such paper, this ink, it doesn't feather that much. And now I'm using lousy quality paper. You can see how the ink feathers. Now just for comparison, I'm now using the walnut ink. You can see how much lighter the walnut ink is. And this ink, it doesn't seem to feather on lousier paper. So I guess it's best to use this ink on better quality paper. And now I'm going to switch over to using the ink in a fountain pen. The first thing I notice is this color is not as dark compared to the dip pen which is quite interesting. And now for this side, I'm going to use walnut ink. Now the walnut ink looks even lighter compared to this I think the difference is quite significant. As mentioned in the walnut ink review, 
This ink is capable of beautiful transitions from light to dark to light again. So here we have dark and then to light and this area becomes dark again and here is light and then it's dark. It's very interesting to see this sort of gradation. Now compare that to the Atramentis document ink. We see only consistent colors, consistent shade. So this is more predictable. Maybe this has got to do with the lines being thicker. So I'm switching over to a pen with a thicker nib to show you the difference. I'm going to draw the same thing. Now notice the difference in color and also the intensity. So document ink is definitely more intense in terms of concentration. This is darker. There is no variation in the tone within the lines. The color is very consistent. Let's see how well the document ink will hold up to markers. I think this is quite good. It's quite permanent. I see no smearing. Let me use a lighter color. So this ink is definitely resistant to markers like this. This is the Copic marker. And now I'm going to try water on the two. Let's start with the walnut ink first. So some of the ink has dissolved. I can almost erase the ink with water. So this is the walnut ink. And now let's do the same thing for document ink. So this is clean water. So this is pretty waterproof. So if you want to use watercolor over document ink, you can definitely do so. This is very good performance. Let's say if you do not want the ink to be so dark, so you can add some water to it. I've just added some water to the mixture. So now I'm going to write some words with the diluted mix. So this is how it looks like. Let's wait for this to dry. There is some gradation in the diluted wash, but it's not very obvious. Now let's test this to see if it's waterproof. So this is water over the diluted mixture. It looks like it's pretty permanent, so I can consider this to be waterproof. If you are looking for ink that can give you variations in terms of values or tone within the line itself, then I can recommend Daniel Smith Walnut Ink. But this ink is not waterproof, so you should not use this with watercolor. I guess you can use it with acrylate or other media, but just not with wet media. And if you are looking for ink that is waterproof when drying, you can check out the Atramentus Document Ink. If you want that sepia color, you can get the brown bottle and just dilute it with some water and this is what you can get. It looks very close to Daniel Smith Walnut Ink but within the lines themselves there is no variation so the color you can get within the line for document ink is very uniform, it's very predictable. Even though there is no mention that this ink is waterproof, this ink is very waterproof and if you want to you can use it with watercolor you can use it with other mixed media so that's all for today's review if you have any questions let me know in the comment section if you want to check out the text review and find out where you can get this ink online the link will be in the video description just right below thanks for watching see you in the next video bye